Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Zach. This week I went ahead and created a user guide or knowledge base type website using the Raytha platform. So I spent about two hours on it. It's a little janky in some areas, but I have enough to demo. So I want to demo it right now, walk you through what I set up, what I created using the Raytha platform completely out of the box, and then show you a little bit about the back end and how I set it up afterwards. But let's go ahead and let's dive in to the actual demo. So I'm gonna switch over to my desktop here. And what we're looking at here is a, actually I, I think this is a pretty nice landing page for a knowledge base website. You have a search box, which is really the action that users are going to take almost every time if they come to a knowledge base, they kind of know what they're searching for. However, depending on how your platform is set up, if you need a knowledge base, maybe for like a software as a service or some other piece of software, there might be a select few user guides that are really important to highlight, maybe a getting started guide, uh, maybe a configuration guide. There might be two or three guides that you want to direct your attention to. So I think that's nice to have right underneath the search bar on your landing page. And then maybe a button to see more user guides if you have them. And then a section below that, you'll have a list of maybe some of the most important articles or the common articles that people are looking for, like reset your password and other similar articles that people are always going to, almost like an FAQ, and then maybe a link or a button to see all those. And then a get in touch section with maybe your help or support email. So I think these elements make up a pretty nice landing page for a knowledge base. So I'm actually quite happy with that. Most of this is actually hard coded HTML from ChatGPT. It gave me kind of a rough structure, but after a little bit of back and forth, I was able to style it a little bit better, but I'm actually quite thrilled with how this came out. So if we search for something, let me just search for a password hit enter, it's gonna take me to a list of articles. This is where it gets a little bit more jank. I didn't spend too much time on this portion, but let me go back to the home page. We have the different pages here at the top. We can also add our own custom pages. Again, we got the full flexibility of the Raytha platform if we want it. Uh, so I'm gonna come back to the home page and yeah, from there, then we'll click on user guides or it would be click see all user guides either way. And here would be a list of user guides that might be a collection of articles. I don't know, this is just a theory. You can set up a knowledge base however you want, but this would be a list of user guides that maybe have a short description, maybe they have a video associated with it that then would point to a collection of articles. So if I click on one of these here, it will take me to a filtered list of articles that belong to that user guide. Now, I only have a few samples in here, so there's only one item in this user guide, but that would be the way I would probably set up a knowledge base is, is organize it through your homepage and articles belong to a user guide and user guides belong to articles, but that's just one pathway for your visitor. You should probably have multiple pathways for your visitors. So that's why you can always go straight to the articles and view all the articles as well as filter by a category or multiple categories on the right side navigation. You can also again, search here at the top as well. So you need to account for the multiple methods that your users are going to search for help content on your actual knowledge base. And those are the key pathways that I've identified. If you all have other methods, I'd love to learn more about that. So if we open up an article, then we would see the article. Again, I didn't spend too much. I only spent about two hours building this entire website from the ground up. So not bad in two hours. I bet if I spent three days on it, I could really make it look really nice and have a lot of functionality. Maybe we can embed a Vimeo video or other videos here at the top on articles that have them. So, but that's pretty much it in terms of what we have for our knowledge base. We got the home, user guides and articles and filtering ability and searching ability. Let's flip over to the admin side and see how I set this up. My content types, are really basic. We got pages, which I only just have the home page, and I have that categories page, and then I have the articles, and then I have the user guides. 
So really basic. If we come into templates, you'll see that under my home template, if we search for that, edit that home template, there isn't that much to it. Again, this, this mostly came from ChatGPT. So you can see that we have the banner section, which is just a search bar that points to the articles along with the search field here. So that's how it knows to uh, populate that query parameter with the search item. And then here are those user guides. Now you would, now these are hard coded. So you would probably want to just change the link to a particular user guide, you know, something like that. Uh, and then maybe ID equals, I don't know, however you want to identify user guide, that's up to you. But you know, I'm of the camp that when you build out a homepage, for a customer, you're not going to be changing the homepage structure and updating it that frequently. So that if you have a homepage like this, where some of the links are hard coded, especially in sections like these, it's not that big of a deal. You don't need a drag and drop website builder for every aspect of your website. So having a homepage that is mostly hard coded HTML is in my opinion, completely fine. Cause how often is the customer going to go in and completely change their homepage? Not very often. So I think that's perfectly reasonable. But then if we come over to the detail view of an article, there's really nothing to it. So again, this is kind of where I was saying where I could probably expand this out a little bit, maybe include embed if there's a video or a Vimeo a walkthrough, something like that. And we can easily add that functionality. Let's just take a quick look at the articles content type. I went under fields and I just added two fields just for demo purposes. We have a user guide and categories. The rest are just the default settings, title and content. So if we come in here, we got a one-to-one -one relationship with the user guide. That's this content type. And let me just go back real quick here. And categories is actually a multiple select field. And I just put some values in there. So if we actually edit an article, come in here down below, you see that we can set the user guide and we can also check off which categories this belongs to. Is that that's how we get the filter working on the right along with the search functionality. So I hope you enjoyed this brief demo of a knowledge base or help center using the Raytha platform, created it from the ground up in just two hours. I might actually use a version of this for the Raytha documentation, remains to be seen. So we'll see if I decide to go in that direction. But if you find all this interesting, if you wanna learn more about Raytha platform, how fast you can build websites and get applications up and running quickly, check out Raytha.com. It's an open source .NET based content management system. So go ahead, check it out. Follow us on Twitter, that's Twitter.com com slash Raytha HQ and uh, we'll see you in the next video.